Hello my beautiful Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for the next four weeks. And this is going to be about financials. And we're going to check to see what is happening with your money, career and success. Also, I'm going to leave a link up here in the description box below. If you would like a private reading from me, you can just go ahead and book your reading from there. This reading is going to be intended for sun, moon and rising. Also, the Venus signs of Sagittarius. So if you are one of those, if you have one of those on your chart, it might resonate with you. By the way, don't forget to give some love and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. All right, guys, let's jump into your reading. and Let's see what is coming your way. Okay. Hmm. This looks like kind of like a wishing bow on one angle. Another way, like a bow, which is your symbol. It just tells me it can be like uh, something when you're using your creative powers, whatever is actually unique to you, authentic to you. Uh, that's in your heart that's what you want to execute probably that's how you want to make your money and the opportunity will actually present itself okay it has some time though it's not going to be happening uh in a day it has some time i see within the first week there is a massive giant bunny actually appearing here bunnies are the symbols of wealth and abundance and this bunny has a mushroom behind it and there are heart shapes on top of the mushroom Mushrooms also, they do not require much to multiply and grow, okay? So, again, both of these symbols are the symbols of growth. This growth can be about in the financials, financial areas, the money that you have, or can be about, um, you know, the resources coming forward for you, so you can create the wealth in your life that you're desiring. I see here there is a man actually looking at another bunny here you can see the ears or it can even be like there's a person standing here on top of a hill has like a book in his hand like a preacher and another person is actually showing him something a candle this kind of reminds me of like you praying with a can lighting up a candle and sending up a prayer or this can be something that maybe you actually prayed with someone you desired something from somebody and that you were thinking this person is the higher authority but you can see the size of them in size of you you're starting right here so you are actually the source and the resource of this creation and uh, this can be about maybe a promotion that you're asking for at work you're thinking that the person who is actually going to be granting that has the authority but there might be somebody else behind the closed doors actually giving making this decision so maybe it is time for you to just stop um wasting your time with this person and t try to find the real resource whoever this person is and this can be about a business maybe a sales you're talking to someone about like in a company and you're thinking that person has the uh, capacity to make decisions but that person doesn't it uh, can apply multiply into any situation that here but you're demanding from a wrong person basically because they are standing on a higher platform doesn't mean that they are in a higher position than you are okay i see there is actually a mermaid appearing here coming out of the water and out of the water mermaids are not dangerous so this can be a catch that you're actually going to be after you're demanding and putting your words out there it is actually spreading to the ether it can be even maybe you're sending out multiple resumes or emails to require like necessary places and then you're uh, you're catching a big massive mermaid here your prayers will be answered eventually and i even see an anchor right next to it anchor usually symbolizes establishing yourself to a place that you really desire to be settling down putting your uh, anchor down and just you know making that place a home this can be about like working in some place or this can be about again your financials maybe you are getting to where you need to be within two weeks the second week uh it is a long progress to actually build up financials, but this can be the beginning of you taking the first step, making the first decision to actually collect the things together and maybe making the decision to be wealthy, having money as your friend, okay? 
<clears throat> actually i was re uh, listening to reverend ike the other day he has very good teachings when it comes to money i know it's just a little um conflicting things with religion and the the things that he's actually saying however i see him as a philosopher rather than um a, a reverend okay so and maybe like a self-help person um, there's a male figure standing here actually and he is being held by something his mind is stuck on something and um, under him there's another person has a ship in his hand this can be your masculine side maybe you are hesitant about taking an action there's an offer coming forward here maybe offer to move somewhere else or do some business with some overseas things and projects but you're stepping away from it you're not really sure about it and something is holding you back there's actually there's a hook right next to you holding your mind back and um, but physically you can actually release yourself from there and you are eventually releasing um like getting like out of there and there's a new path opening in, in front of you when you do that I see here there's a woman this kind of looks like a flight attendant wearing the hat here a class hat she has a cape this can be maybe like a job opportunity if you are interested in one or maybe even like going into that kind of aviation industry if you want some or can be even like a trip that you're going to be taking because we said there is a path opening here for you this can be a person that you're going to be meeting along the way I see here a ram. This can be an Aries actually coming forward, which is also a fire sign. Maybe someone that you're going to be getting along very well. And after they show up, I see that there's going to be some agreements coming forward. Maybe contracts that you're signing, paths are opening. There's an older lady here with like a bonnet um, on top of her head that you're actually conversating with. There is a sword. A hand is holding a sword here sword actually indicates a new idea a new beginning uh, of and this executing starting to execute a new idea also getting the ability to speak your own truth there's a path here opening within the second week as well but this is a short path and there's somebody coming from it you're not really traveling towards there sword and i see that somebody is actually the two people here while you're taking the sword and maybe just taking the word, trying to starting to speak your mind, express your truth, there's gonna be two people. I saw male and female. They're gonna be very surprised. They're not express. They're not. They're not expecting you to be speaking up. Okay, and that will actually the sword is going to cut the air into half and change the direction, the course of the things. You speaking your own word. Let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be. Choo! Excuse me. Choo! Excuse me. Due to allergies, unfortunately. Your desire coming really fast. Uh, I keep sneezing. There is a massive chunk of money in your heart and a dragon wrapping around it. A dragon is always a good omen. It symbolizes that you are actually on the path of creating a massive wealth. There is a hilly portion of the path while you're going forward. But the second hill that when you come forward, it seems like within the second week, there is a horse even the horse is wearing a graduation cap the horses means wish fulfillment they are the tool for like they are not the tool they are actually the channel to carry us to the places that we cannot go um so the graduation cap can be you completing a cycle of your life and upgrading to another level if you're going to school maybe you are actually going to be completing that and receiving good news about that if there has been like a hiccups along the way also the the Horse means whatever it is that coming forward is going to be your wish fulfillment. I see in your heart, you are manifesting a lot of money right now. You want a good amount. There is a huge chunk here and it is coming very soon. And it is even like coming uh, and it has a purpose and it is going somewhere. Okay, that's what you're manifesting. It is coming and some of it, not all of it, as you can see. Some of it just stays with you and some of it is going to be going in that resource, the source that you want. Within the fourth week, there's a good news coming forward from unexpected places. This can be about the money. I also see a spiral here. So you might even create whatever this is that you are actually attracting money for you. 
you might create there's a swordfish by the way uh, a resource for you that is going to be continuing okay it's going to be having circles keep coming to you swordfish indicates uh again with the sword again fish means money abundance wealth and resources sword indicates speaking and speaking your truth so whatever it is that is coming to you as a good idea it has the the resources within it okay we have sword sword there you go the sword here the air sign this is not actually sword but it's air sign energy libra the fool there's a new beginning coming forward for you okay and i also have here uh the knight of wands which is your energy you're actually going to be taking a leap of faith and jumping into a new adventure running into a new adventure and the fool's journey actually begins with taking like he's actually stepping into the unknown when you do actually cultivate your energy with that taking the idea and then moving ahead we had the ten of cups coming forward this is actually not only love money you're actually going to manifest something emotionally fulfilling family environment joy also money there you go king of pentacles stability wealth and opportunities will also going to be present but overall you're going to be covered in all sides okay you're going to be emotionally and financially fulfilled at the end of the day we have here again sagittarius energy with the pen, um, temperance so moderation is going to be good after you start receiving the things that you want so without being overspending or giving a uh, you know giving a lot of the things away rather than doing that do it with moderation uh your time money and all of these things when you're spending it's good to have a balance within you okay because it seems like a calm scene here but the sun is coming afterwards so there is some things going to start happening we have a two of pentacles coming forward here two of pentacles actually indicates you're gonna actually go into a grind basically when the money comes in and that's why it's telling you to be balanced in what you do because because you're going to be uh you're not maybe even going to have time for yourself it's going to be a very heavy burden and like not a heavy burden but a lot of work a lot of fast-paced environments that you're going to be entering but we, while you are in there don't forget to um if you are working hard you should actually play hard and give yourself time as well we have nine of swords and six of wands coming forward so this situation might actually cause you to have nightmares maybe you're going to be overworking and feeling like oh is this going to be like this forever i don't want to be like that and but do not di diverge that like let those thoughts take over you because those are going to be actually affecting the energy in a negative way however if you just keep going with what you do we have a victory coming forward you're going to be victorious at the end of the day let's see what your oracle cards are telling us here dignity uh, hold your head up high and know the unicorns are supporting you okay so i don't know at which point here nine of uh, swords energy so when you're feeling frustrated when you're feeling angry maybe even scared of the situation maybe the things are moving slow whenever you're feeling that way you hold your head up because the victory is coming forward you're being protected you're being covered so if you actually put your head down you might lower your energy at the same time okay let us see what else we have here for you guys burgundy awaken your passion okay that's beautiful this is like a color book here let's see number 10 burgundy connects to your passion vibrancy and enthusiasm for life it leads you to your life purpose and makes your dreams a reality burgundy also energizes you whenever you are feeling down showing your path showing you your path when you feel lost awaking your passion with burgundy so you can actually cultivate this color use it during this month in order to attract your passion to your life and say divine intelligence please allow me to awaken my intuition passion and love for life so that i can fulfill my extraordinary potential this can be your mantra throughout the month okay all right my beautiful that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye